Today I'm distilling Grand Fur or AB Scrandis. Grand Fur smells like Christmas trees. These are the leaves of the Grand Fur. Easiest way to identify it is that the leaves go out flat on one linear plane. Also on the underside, on the underside of the leaf, there are two parallel white lines. The side that faces up is all green. So that's what it looks like. And that's how you can identify Grand Fur out on your own. Compare the leaves to a Douglas fir, which is right next to this one here. You can see how these grow out radially on many planes. Yet this grows flat on one plane. Douglas fir smells like lemons, um, like lemon Christmas trees. Grand fir smells like beautiful Christmas tree fragrance. So this is distilling right now inside. One thing when I distill anything that's evergreen is my water always turns black. And I think it's just from the resin dropping down. So the steam goes up into the biomask flask. This is a two liter biomask flask and I try to fill it as full as I possibly can. So all this bubbling and boiling is causing all of these water molecules to expand into air. And when that does that, it causes this pressure. So it pushes through, it releases the essential oil and all the scent compounds. Some of the scent compounds are oil soluble and some of them are water soluble. So we end up with two products. The steam comes up through the top over and is pushed down. You can see that it's getting bottlenecked, so the pressure increases. And as it goes through this condenser, it, go, it gets condensed back into a liquid. So from the condenser, we're getting cold water going in through the bottom, filling up through the top, and then running back out to keep this cold. Over here, I can't touch it, it's very hot. But over here, it's cold, and things are condensing inside. As you can see, water starting to run down and droplets over here. And then it goes into the essential oil collection area where it forms an oil layer on top. That's the pure essential oil. And then the hydrosol, which is also very highly scented, comes off into this area. And that's how essential oils are made with no chemicals, only steam.